Glory to the holy consubstantial life, creating an undivided trinity always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory to God in the highest, and to people on earth, peace and goodwill. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, all my being, bless his holy name. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, and never forget all his blessings. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion, who fills your life with good things, renewing your youth like an eagle's. The Lord does deeds of justice, gives judgment for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to Israel's sons. The Lord is compassionate and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. His wrath will come to an end. He will not be angry forever. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove our sins. As a father has compassion on his sons, the Lord has pity on those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grassy flowers, like the flower of the field. The wind blows, and he is gone, and his place never sees him again. But the love of the Lord is everlasting upon those who hold him in fear. His justice reaches out to children's children when they keep his covenant in truth, when they keep his will in their mind. The Lord has set his sway in heaven and his kingdom and ruling over all. Give thanks to the Lord, all his angels, mighty and power, fulfilling his word, who heed the voice of his word. Give thanks to the Lord, all his hosts, his servants, who do his will. Give thanks to the Lord, all his works, in every place where he rules my soul. Give thanks to the Lord, in every place where he rules my soul. Give thanks to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Miram hospodopo malim sia. Hospodipo milo. Osvišni mir i ospasenje duš naših, Hospodu, pomolim si ja. Hospodi, pomilu. On miri vseho mira, blagostojani vsetih Božjih, zrkve i vsedinenji vsih, Hospodu, pomolim si ja. Hospodi, pomilu. O svetim hrami se mi sviruju blahovinim i strahom Božjim vodjaših vonj, Hospodu, pomolim si ja. Hospodi, pomilu. O svetišim vselenstvim arhirej našim Franciske papirim s tim, Hospodu, pomolim si ja. Hospodi, pomilu. O preošeščenišim arhijepiskopi mi trobliti našim kir, viljam i oboholjubivim jepiskopi našim kir, kurti, čestni prezviter si vo Hristi, diakon svi o vsem pričti ljude, Hospodu, pomolim si ja. Hospodi, pomilu. O predržašnjih vlasteh naših i o vsem vojinstvi, Hospodu, pomolim si ja. Gospodi pomilu. O hradi, sem vsjakom hradi, strani i viruju živuščih vonih. Gospodu pomolim si ja. Gospodi pomilu. O blaho rastvoreni vzduhovi, zaboli plodov zemnih i vremenih mirnih. Gospodu pomolim si ja. Gospodi pomilu. Plavajuših, potešestvojuših, neduhujuših, strašujuših, plinjenjih i ospasenjih. Hospodu pomolim si ja. Hospodi pomilu. O izbaviti si ja nam od sjakija skorbih njiva i nužde. Hospodu pomolim si ja. Hospodi pomilu. Zastupi, spasi, pomiluj, sohrani nas Bože Tvojeju, blahodati ju. Hospodi pomilu. Presvjatuju, prečistuju, preblahoslovenuju, slavniju vladičicu našu, Bohorodicu i prisno Djevu Marihu, s obsimi svjetimi pomjanuvše sami sebe i druh truha, i ves život naš Hristu Bohu predadim. Svjeti, Hospodi, ja 
ako podobaje tebi vsiaka ja slava, čest i poklenjenje Otcu i Sonu i Svjatomu Duhu, ne ni prisno i vo viku viku. Amin. Boh, Hospod, ja visja nam, blahosloven hriade vo imja, Hospod, ne. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They encompassed me, circled me about in the Lord's name, I crushed them. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I shall not die, I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. When you, you descended, descended to death, death O immortal one, you destroyed Hades by the brilliance of your divinity. And when you raised the dead from the depths of the earth, all the heavenly powers cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ our God, revealing as much of your glory to your disciples as they could behold. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, let your everlasting light also shine on us sinners, O giver of life, glory to you, now and ever and forever. Amen. O Theotokos, we sing your praises, for you were a virgin before conceiving, and remain a virgin after giving birth. And since you have given birth to our salvation, Jesus Christ, you have become a treasury of assistance for all who seek resurrection and eternal life. Therefore lift us up from the depth of our transgressions, for we place our hope in you. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the cross. He wrapped it in a clean shroud and with fragrant spices laid it in burial in a new tomb. But you arose in three days, O Lord, bestowing great mercy upon the world. Arise, O Lord, lift up your 
your hand. O God, do not forget the poor. The angel appeared to the murmuring women at the tomb and said, Ointments are for the dead. But Christ has been shown to be free from all corruption. Rather cry out instead, the Lord is risen, granting great mercy to the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. We, we praise you, O Theotokos, for you are covered with glory more than any other. Death has been put to and ladies is trampled underfoot by the cross of your Son. He raised us from death, granting us eternal again offered for us to enjoy as before. Therefore, in thanksgiving, we glorify the love and power of Christ our God. Blessed are you, O Lord, Commandments. The hosts of angels were amazed and dazzled when they beheld you, O Savior, among <coughs> the dead, destroying the power of death, raising up Adam with you, and releasing all the souls from Hades. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. The radiant angel standing by the grave cried out to the ointment bearing women, Why do you lament and mingle your tears with the spices? Look upon the grave and rejoice. For the Savior is risen from the dead. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your commandments. The ointment bearing women hasten very early to your grave. But the angel stood by them and said, The time for lamenting is no more. Do not cry, but go and announce the resurrection to the disciples. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your commandments. Savior, the ointment bearing women came to your grave with ointments. Then they heard the angels say to them, Why are you seeking the living one among the dead? Indeed, he is called, he is risen from the dead. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
we worship the Father and His Son and His Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. And we cry out with the seraphim, Holy, Holy, Holy are you, O Lord, now and ever and forever. Amen. O, o Virgin, Virgin, you bore the giver of life, you redeemed Adam from his sin, and granted joy to Eve instead of sadness. For he who is both God and man was incarnate of you, and he has restored life to those who had strayed away from me. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Let us be attentive, peace be to all, wisdom be attentive. Lord, rise up in your anger, rise against the fury of my foes. My God, awake, you will give judgment. Let the company of nations gather round you. Lord God, I take refuge in you from my pursuers. Save me and rescue me. Lord, rise up in your anger. Rise against the fury of my foes. My God, awake, you will give judgment. Let the company of nations gather around you. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and you dwell in the holy, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let everything that lives and that breathes God in his holy place, praise him in his mighty heavens. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Give praise to the Lord. That we be deemed worthy of hearing the holy gospel in peace, let us pray to the Lord our God. to all, and to your spirit, to your spirit. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. 
Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus appeared to the disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had eaten their meal, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he answered, you know that I love you. At which Jesus said, feed my lambs. A second time, Jesus asked, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, Peter said, you know that I love you. Jesus replied, tend my sheep. A third time, Jesus asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus had asked a third time, do you love me? So Peter said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know well that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. I tell you solemnly, as a young man, you fastened your belt and went about as you pleased. But when you are older, you will stretch out your hands and another will tie you fast and carry you off against your will. What he said indicated the sort of death by which Peter would glorify God. When Jesus had finished speaking, he said to Peter, follow me. Peter turned around at that and noticed the disciple whom Jesus loved was following the one who had leaned against Jesus' chest during the supper and said, Lord, which one will hand you over? Seeing that disciple, Peter asked Jesus, but Lord, what about him? Jesus replied, suppose I want him to stay until I come. How does that concern you? Your business is to follow me. This is how the report spread among the brethren that this disciple was not going to die. Jesus never told him, as a matter of fact, that the disciple was not going to die. All he said was, suppose I want him to stay until I come. How does that concern you? It is this same disciple who is witness to these things. It is he who wrote them down, and his testimony we know is true. There are still many other things that Jesus did, yet if they were written about in detail, I doubt there would be enough room in the entire world to hold the books, to record them. Glory to you, glory to you, O Lord, glory to you, having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us bow to the Holy Lord Jesus, who alone is sinless. We bow, we bow to, to your, your cross, cross, O Christ, and, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For you alone are our God, and we know no Come to the whole world, always blessing the Lord. Let us praise his resurrection by enduring the cross for us. He destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me here rejoicing in gladness, that the bones you have crushed may thrill. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. Up your heart, create for me, O oh God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor, sustain me. 
that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, burnt offerings wholly consumed. Then you will be offered young bulls on your altar. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, through the prayers of the Holy Apostles. O merciful one, cleanse us of our many sins, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O merciful one, cleanse us of our many sins. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. Jesus is risen from the tomb, as he foretold, and granted us everlasting life and great mercy. In days of old, in days of old, the entire army of To your holy resurrection, O Lord. For not having followed your commandment, we have been indicted before the prince of this world, but your cross has brought him under judgment. Having struck you as a mortal, he himself was overcome with weakness and fell beneath the strength of your all. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. Redeemer of the human race and prince of eternal life, you have come into the world. By your resurrection, you have broken the bonds of death and together we all glorify you, for you are covered with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O most pure Virgin, you have appeared higher than every creature, visible and invisible, for you have given birth to the Creator when he was pleased to take flesh in your womb. Intercede with him for the salvation of our souls. The choirs of, of Israel pass dry shot across the, the Red Sea, sea and, and the watery deep. And beholding the riders and, and captains of the enemy swallowed by the waters, they cried out for joy. Let us sing to our God, for he has been glorified. You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ our God, and your disciples beheld as much of your glory as they could bear. That when they would see you crucified, they would understand that you suffered willingly. So they would preach to the world that you are truly the radiance of the Father. 
from the lethargy that has overcome you do not lie there on the ground, and your thoughts which weigh heavily upon my soul arise and ascend to the summits of good God, of godliness. Let us hasten to join Peter and the sons of Zebedee, that we may behold with them the glory of God on Mount Tabor, and hear the voice from heaven which they themselves heard. It, it impelled them to proclaim to the world that they had witnessed the glory of the Father. You are rose from, from the, the grave, almighty Savior. Seeing the miracle, Hades was struck with fear. The dead arose. Adam sight, all creation rejoices with you. Adam joins in exaltation. And the world, O oh my Savior, sings your praises forever. O light of those who are in darkness, you are the resurrection and life of all. You have raised the faithful with you, O Savior. You have despoiled the kingdom of death and have shattered the gates of Hades, O word. The sight of such wonders astonished mortals, and every creature rejoices in your resurrection. We also glorify you, O lover of mankind, and we praise your condescension. And the world, O, o my Savior, sings, sings your, your praises forever. Let us magnify with hymns the Theotokos, the mother of the light. My soul so magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who of virgin gave birth to God the Word. You who truly the Theotokos we magnify. Because he has looked upon the humility of his servant, from this day forward all generations shall call me blessed. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who of the virgin gave birth to God the Word. You who truly the Theotokos we magnify. Because he who is mighty has done great things to me, and holy is his name. And his love is from generation to generation to those who, who fear him. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who of the virgin gave birth to God the Word. You who truly the Theotokos we magnify. He has shown might in his arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who of the virgin gave birth to God the Word. You who truly the Theotokos we magnify. He has put down the mighty from their seat and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who of the virgin gave birth to God the Word. You who truly the Theotokos we magnify, 
He has received Israel, his servant, being mindful of his love, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. More honorable honorable than the cherubim, and and beyond compare, more more glorious than the seraphim, who who of virgin gave gave birth birth to God God the Word. You, who truly the Theotokos, we magnify. The Son of the Father, with the beginning, our Lord, and the Holy God, has taken flesh from the Virgin and has appeared to us. He has come to illuminate the darkness and and to gather those who are scattered. O Theotokos, worthy of all praise, we extol you. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. The thrice blessed wood of your precious cross has been planted in the place of the skull as in the heart of paradise, sprinkled with the blood and water that flowed from your divine side, O Christ. It made our life blossom full. Glory to your holy resurrection, O Lord. On the cross you overthrew the powerful. From the depths of Hades you raised up human nature, which was held captive, and you enthroned it with your Father in heaven, O Almighty One. And in that same nature you shall come again. We adore you, and we extol you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O faithful, let us praise and glorify in the true faith, the unity in three persons, the consubstantial trinity, the divine and indivisible nature, the onsetting light with the triple flame, who alone is incorruptible, and who fills us with brightness. Your child childbirth was shown to, to be incorrupt, for it was God who came forth from you, appearing on earth in the flesh and dwelling among us. Therefore, O Theotokos, we all extol you. Holy is the Lord our God, holy is is the the Lord Lord our our God, God. holy Holy is is the Lord our our God. God. Exalt the Lord our God, bow before his footstool, for he is holy. Holy is the Lord our God, holy is the Lord our God, holy is the Lord our God. O word and unchangeable light, O light of the unbegotten Father, Today we see in your light on Tabor the light of the Father and the light of the Spirit, which gives light to the whole world. After his resurrection, the Lord asked Peter three times, Do you love me? Then the Lord set Peter as a shepherd over his sheep. When Peter saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following him, he asked the Lord, What about him? And the Lord said, If I want him to wait until I come again, what is that to you, O Peter, my beloved? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. What an awesome wonder, what a dazzling wonder. Death has been abolished completely by death. O Word, who will not then praise, and who will not glorify your resurrection? Who will not praise the Theotokos, who gave birth to you in the flesh and in purity? Therefore, by her prayers, save us all from Hades. Let everything Everything that that lives lives and that that breathes give praise to the Lord. Praise 
praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights, to you is you a hymn, O God. Praise Him, all His angels, praise Him, all His hosts, to you is you a hymn, O God. Praise Him, sun and moon, praise Him, shining star. Praise Him, highest heavens and the waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded they were made. He fixed them forever, gave a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea creatures and all ocean. Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey His word. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars. Beasts wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wing. All earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men, together with children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints. Of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing, and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people, he crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory, shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips, and a two-edged sword in their hand. We deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the people. To bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained, this honor is for all his faithful. Praise God in his holy place, praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds, praise his surpassing greatness. O O nations nations rejoice rejoice and be glad, the The angel who sat upon the stone stone which had sealed the tomb has himself given us the good news, saying, Christ is risen risen from the dead, the the Savior of the the world. He He has filled the universe with fragrance. O nations, rejoice and be glad. O praise him with sound of trumpet, praise him with lute and harp. Before your noble suffering and cross, O Master, you took your chosen apostles to Mount Tabor, showing them your glory. When When they they saw saw you transfigured and and more brilliant than the sun, they they fell to to the ground ground and cried out, You are the eternal light and the radiance of the Father, and And although unchanged you appear in the flesh. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and pipes. O O God, God, the word you are are from all all eternity, and and you are clothed with with light as with a robe, transfigured before your disciples. You You shone shone more brightly than the sun. Moses and Elijah stood at your side, revealing you as Lord of the living and the dead. They glorified your ineffable work of salvation, your mercy and your great compassion, by which you saved the world which was lost in Praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with flashing of cymbals, that everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. You You were were born born of a virginal cloud and became flesh, and were 
transfigured on Mount Tabor, O Lord. A bright cloud surrounded you. The whole voice of the Father clearly told the disciples that you are his beloved Son. For you are the same essence as he, and you share his throne. At this sight Peter spoke with wonder and said, It is good for us to be here. He did not realize what he said. O most merciful benefactor, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ took his disciples, Peter, James, and John, and was transfigured on a high mountain in their presence. His face became as bright as the sun, and his garments were whiter than the snow. Moses and Elijah appeared and spoke with him, and a bright cloud came over them. A voice was heard from the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased Now and ever and forever, Amen. You, you are, are truly most, most blessed, O Virgin Theotokos, through the one who was incarnate of you. Hades was chained, Adam revived, the curse wiped out. He set free, death put to death, and we ourselves were brought back to life. That is why we cry out in praise, Blessed are you, O Christ, our God, who finds in this your good pleasure, glory to you. Glory to you who have shown us the light. Glory to God in the highest and to people on earth. Peace and good will. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you. Father Almighty, Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, hear our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, amen. I will bless you day after day, praise your name forever. Make us worthy, O Lord, to be kept sinless this morning. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. And praiseworthy and glorious is your name forever. Amen. May your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, who have placed our hope in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your commandments. Blessed are you, O Master, make me understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy 
on, enlighten me with your commandments. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. I said, Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O Lord, I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will for you, O Lord, our my God. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Seattle Bolge, Seattle Kripke, Seattle Besmertne, Santo Dio, Santo y Fuerte, Santo y Inmortal, ten piedad de nosotros. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Slava Isusu Christu. A little complicated today. You need a ribbon on page 130 for the tropar in tone 2. 130. And then everything else, beginning with the antiphons, comes from the Feast of the Transfiguration on page 346. 130 and 346. Most of the time, when you look at the bulletin, you recognize the names of the people we remember at the liturgy on Sunday, and you recognize the names of most of the people on the prayer list. But today, that's not the case. I just want to point out that one of the intentions of today's liturgy is for a little guy named Julian Letchworth. He's celebrating his first birthday, and he has spent the first year of his life battling cancer. I want to thank all of you who take the prayer list seriously and pray for the people who are listed on it in your daily prayers every day. I know some of our homebound people do that. I hope more than just our homebound people do that. But I know some of Julian's family and friends will be joining us live stream for this liturgy. And I want to thank you for your prayers because they work. So far, this little guy has, has struggled and survived and made it to a first birthday that some people thought he would never see. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present, filling all things, treasury of blessings, giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of all stain, and save our souls, O gracious one. Glory to God in the highest of people on earth, peace and goodwill. Glory to God in the highest of people on earth, peace and goodwill. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. 
Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from on high, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter with faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our holy father Francis, Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable presbyter at the diaconate in Christ and all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master. Show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship, now and ever and forever. Amen. Shall joyfully to the Lord all the earth sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise through the prayers of the Theotokos. Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Mount Zion, the slopes of the north, is the city of the great King, O Son of God, transfigured on the mount. Save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit.
glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. O Son of God, transfigured on the mount, Save us to sing to you, Alleluia. Wisdom be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, transfigured on the mount, save us to sing to you. Alleluia. When you descended to death, O immortal life, you destroyed Hades by the brilliance of your divinity. And when you raised the dead from the depths of the earth, all the Powers cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to you. You were transfigured on the mountain, O Christ our God, revealing as much of your glory to your disciples as they could behold. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, let your everlasting light also shine upon us sinners. O giver of the light, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Transfigured on the mountain, O Christ our God, and your disciples beheld as much of your glory as they could bear, that when they would see you crucified, they would understand that you suffered willingly, so they would preach to the world that you are truly the radiance of the Father. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, Oh. 
us be attentive, peace be to all, wisdom be attentive. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. Bless the Lord my soul, Lord my God, how great you are. How many are your works, O Lord? Wisdom. A reading from the first epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, although I may not be an apostle for others, I certainly am one for you. You are the very seal of my apostolate in the Lord. My defense against those who criticize me is this. Do we not have the right to eat and drink? Do we not have the right to marry a believing woman like the rest of the apostles and the brothers of the Lord and Cephas? It is only myself and Barnabas who are forced to work for a living. What soldier in the field pays for his rations? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat of its yield? What shepherd does not nourish himself with the milk of his flock? You may think the reasons I am giving are merely human ones, but does not the law itself speak of these things? It is written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle an ox while it treads out grain. Is God here concerned for oxen, or does he not rather say this for our sakes? You can be sure it was written for us, for the plowman should plow in hope, and the harvester expect a share in the grain. If we have sown for you in the Spirit, is it too much to expect a material harvest from you? If others have this right over you, is not our right even greater? But we have not used this right. On the contrary, we put up with all sorts of hardships, so as not to place any obstacle in the way of the gospel of Christ. Peace be to you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia, <coughs> alleluia, alleluia. Yours are the heavens and yours is the earth. Shout with joy. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. The Lord said the kingdom of God may be compared to a king who decided to settle accounts with his officials. When he began his audit, one was brought in who owed him a huge amount. As he had no way of paying it, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that the official prostrated himself in homage and said, My Lord, be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with pity, the master let the official go and wrote off the debt. But when that same official went out, he met a fellow servant who owed him a mere fraction of what he himself owed. He seized the man and throttled him and said, Pay back what you owe. His fellow servant dropped to his knees and began to plead with him, saying, Just give me time and I will pay you back in full. But he would hear none of it. Instead, he had the man put in jail until he paid back what he owed. When his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were badly shaken and went to their master to report the whole affair. His master sent for him and said, You worthless wretch, 
I canceled your entire debt when you pleaded with me. Should you not have dealt mercifully with your fellow servant as I dealt with you? Then in anger the master handed him over to the torturers until he paid back all that he owed. My heavenly Father will treat you in exactly the same way unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. Glory to you, o Lord. <clears throat> Glory to you. What do I tell you every time we hear a parable of our Lord? Listen to the details. Listen for that one detail in this otherwise realistic story that makes you go, huh? Because in the parables, which on one level are very entertaining, our Lord is playing with us. How many of the parables are about very, very practical things like money? Hmm? Our Lord is saying to us, okay, you're, you're, you're all so smart about material things. You're all so wise when it comes to finances. You give a lot of thought to that stuff. How wise are you when it comes to your spiritual investments? Where's the odd detail in the parable we just heard from our Lord? It's not really the punchline. It's in the whole way the system works. Two men are put in jail, are subjected to torture, until they can pay back what they owe. But if they could pay back what they owe, they wouldn't be in that problem, and they're sure not going to be able to pay it back while they're stuck in jail. There's the detail. We see people dead-ended, and they can't get out on their own. The only way either one of those debtors is ever going to get out of prison is if somebody else pays their ransom for them. If someone else pays their debt for them, it's the only way they're ever going to get out. Otherwise, debtor's prison doesn't work. Unfortunately, when we hear this parable, friends, you and I are meant to see ourselves in those two dead-ended, debt-ridden prisoners. Because sin, that capital S sin, that power that has run so much of this world since Adam and Eve, holds us ransom. And we can't get ourselves out. You hear this seven, eight times a year when you hear the liturgy of St. Basil quotes St. Paul, who describes us as having been sold into slavery under sin. Psalm 49 says, No man can pay a ransom to God for his life. The Old Testament knew the problem, but they didn't have the solution. What's the solution? The solution is our Lord Jesus Christ, who once and for all paid the debt of sin to liberate all of us, every human being, whoever was, whoever will be, by the perfect sacrifice of his blood on the cross, wiped away the debt of sin for everyone who chooses to accept the gift. How do we accept the gift? Jesus' punchline in today's parable gives us the simple, easy answer that we all know. We who have been forgiven can only show our gratitude to God by being forgiving with others. We who have been freed from dead ends in our own lives can show our gratitude by helping free others from the dead ends that we put them in or they put themselves in. 
the dead ends of habitual sin, of addiction, the dead ends of the grudges and unforgiven faults by which we hold each other imprisoned. That much we can do. The other thing we can do is claim that gift of liberation from the only source whence it comes, from the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. And how do we do that? We do that through baptism. We do that through every sacramental mystery that we experience. We do it in the Holy Communion we celebrate in this liturgy. Jesus offered his body and blood once and for all. You and I keep coming back to claim it again and again and again to chip away a little bit more of that imprisonment to sin in our own lives. The place where we don't do it often enough is in the sacrament of repentance, where we actually point at where it hurts and ask our Lord, the good physician, to cure us right there. And when we don't come to confession, why don't we? We don't because we say, oh, I can handle that. <laughs> Isn't that exactly the problem? We can't handle that. We can't solve that problem for ourselves. No man can pay a ransom to God for his life. So today, friends, we are reminded of the most basic facts of our faith, reminded why we reach out to others in kindness and charity and forgiveness, why we do not hold grudges, why we do not judge others, but we're also reminded about the only source of liberation and healing and freedom in our own lives, which is our Lord Jesus Christ present in the sacraments, all the sacraments of the church. And that's just step one of our faith. If we don't get that one right, we can't go any further. And today, as we hear this basic message of Christian good news, we hear it in the middle of the Feast of the Transfiguration, where we are reminded not only of what the Lord wants to liberate us from, but what the Lord wants to lead us to, a share in his own divine glory, a share in the life that the Trinity lives in itself, a circle of love that opens up and draws us in and transforms us. But that isn't possible until we take the first step, and in order to t take that first step and accept that priceless gift, we need to let go of the pride that says, I can fix this myself. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever.
sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity. Now set aside, now set aside Πάσαν την ιδιότητα από το μεθημερινά μα στο Βασιλεία των Όντων των Ισοπαλικών και Ευρωπαίων 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 των May the Lord God remember in his kingdom our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, and our God-loving Bishop Kurt, the entire presbyteral, diaconal, and monastic orders, our government, and all in the service of our country, the noble, ever-memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church, the deceased servant of God, Viera, the newly departed servant of God, the priest, Jody, and the servant of God, Julian, his health and salvation, and all you Christians of the true faith, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Let us love one another so that with one mind we may profess. In wisdom, let us be attentive. with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day, according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive to offer the holy anaphora in peace. Mercy, peace, the, sacrifice of grace. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let all us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to praise you, to bless you, to thank you, to worship you in every place of your dominion, for you are God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, ever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of non-existence into being, raised us up again when we had fallen and left nothing undone, till you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud and saying, the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the heart. So cry out with these blessed powers, O loving and kind Master, and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory, who so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son that everyone who believes in him should not perish but should have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Likewise, he took the chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering, therefore, this saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory offering you your own from your own always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, we thank you, O Lord, and we
Lord. Lord. We offer you this spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, and we implore and pray and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here set forth, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. What is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 That for those who partake of them, they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, for the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary. O Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, and our God-loving Bishop Kurt, and preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, O Lord, this city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, O Lord, those who travel by sea, air, and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O oh Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches and those who remember the poor and upon all of us send down your mercies. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. The mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The precious gifts here offer that our God who loves mankind may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, that this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. This, o Lord. For a Christian pain, the son ashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Asking for unity in faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare call you the God of heaven, Father, and say, Our Father. Give 
us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Bow your heads to the Lord. To Lord. We give you thanks, O Invisible King, for by your immeasurable power you have fashioned all things, and in the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of non-existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, cure those who are sick, O physician of souls and bodies, through the grace, the mercies, and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive, holy gifts to holy people. O Lord, I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I profess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O oh Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. <clears throat> Uh, we shall walk in the light of your face, O Lord. We shall walk in the light of your face, O Lord. We shall rejoice in your name forever. We shall rejoice in your name forever. Alleluia. Divine, Amen. Amen. in my 
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. Remember, O Lord, our God, in your kingdom, those we have remembered here, wipe away their sins with your precious blood through the prayers of the Theotokos. The procession of all the saints who please you since time began, the exalted of the heavens, O God, that should glory above all the earth, the exalted of the heavens, O God, that should glory above all the earth, the exalted above the heavens, O God, that should glory be over all the earth. For the Trinity has Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory, for you have deemed us worthy to of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day 
Arise, now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We thank you, Master, lover of mankind, benefactor of our souls, that today you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all your saints. Make straight our path, confirm us all in fear of you. Guard our life and safeguard our steps, for you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord those who bless you and sanctifying those who trust in you. Save your people, bless your inheritance, preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever, and forever. Amen. A reminder that until Sunday, August 22nd, we have the opportunity to help underprivileged children in the city of Clifton prepare for the new school year by uh, offering simple school supplies. The list of uh, things that children need is in the bulletin. You can guess for yourself. Number two pencils, glue sticks, boxes of 24 crayons, things like that. You can place them right under the table in the vestibule and they will be delivered to Clifton for distribution to the kids who need them. We thank Patricia Onifer for uh, organizing this simple work of charity for us. A reminder to pray for our two adopted seminarians. If they've shown up today, that must mean the new school year is about to begin, right? Please remember Christian and Alan as they continue their studies for, for priesthood in various sectors of the Roman Catholic Church. And please pray for an increase of vocations in our own church. To our guests, a warm welcome to all a blessed Sunday. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May Christ, our true God, who for our salvation was transfigured on Mount Tabor, revealing his glory to his holy disciples and apostles, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the intercession of the holy archangel Michael, whose church this is, of our holy father, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy confessor Emilian, whose day this is, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ our God is gracious, and he loves mankind.
Lord, to your faithful here gathered, to all those for whom we have prayed, especially for your servant Julian, his health and salvation, and for all the members of St. Michael's Cathedral Parish, peace, health, and long life for many blessed years. God grant them many years. God grant them many years. God grant them many blessed years. In peace, health, and happiness. In peace, health, and happiness. God grant 